Thanks, Vanessa. And you know, this is perfect timing for Craig Hayes <laughs> from Earl May to be here because it is going to get a little cold tonight. Okay, so next few nights. Bring, yeah, next few <laughs> nights we're going to have to bring some of our friends who like to dwell outside inside. You got out of that cold weather. Um, about 45 is probably a cutoff if for those house plants or the tropical type plants that you set out through the summer um, or on the patios and so we're going to be under that for it looks like almost a week so yeah, yeah definitely so ideally you want to treat those plants and bring them inside so there's no damage to them from getting too cold and you know what i like that we treat them so we bring the plants inside but not our friends with multiple legs aka bugs <laughs> you don't want to bring the bugs in so mm -hmm got a couple different things you can treat with. Um, if you're not seeing any insects whatsoever, the systemic works great. You just put that in the soil, water it in, Easy. and then it absorbs. It takes about seven days to work, but it will last you 30. So to break the cycle of an insect, if, if say they've hatched eggs into your soil and you don't know that and they come inside, then they hatch and then that, that they typically go ahead and kill them out. Otherwise, a spray is more immediate. So you go ahead and spray the plant down, and actually it's good to go ahead and spray the soil. And then usually to break a cycle of an insect, it's usually good to go back and repeat that one um, a week later. I'm pretty much uh, going all in. So is it a good idea to do a one-two punch? Do the sprinkle, sprinkle, and the spray, spray? Or is that too much? Will that overwhelm the plant? It won't overwhelm the plant. Um, the only way, I, I'm not a big advocate of overspraying or over-treating if you don't need to. So. I'd only do that if you're seeing insect issues right out of the gate. Um, if you're not seeing them, I'd probably go with the systemic. If you are seeing them, I'd go with the spray. Um, if you've got uh, like gnats or white flies, which are more of an irritant, mm -hmm. then use the sticky stakes. Okay. You just put these down in your plant. They get stuck to them. Their buddies will come along and get stuck with them. Right. And then you could just toss them in the trash. Well, so definitely really good ideas for all of our plants, especially as it gets cold. Thanks for coming in with us. When we